Hey guys, so this video is for you if you've already bought the Surface Pro 7 or you're contemplating buying a Surface Pro 7 and are wondering how to set it up. I'm going to walk you through the entire process and I'll also show you how you can pair the brand new Surface Pen with your brand new Surface Pro 7. So let's get started. So you've unboxed your Surface, you've put the keyboard, the type cover and attached it to your Surface uh, Pro 7 and you booted it up. This is probably the first screen you're going to see where you are asked to select the language. So you could choose between US English or UK English. If you're buying the Surface Pro 7 in India, these are the two language options you get for now. You can of course install more languages once Windows is set up. Then you can select your region, which in our case would be India. So just scroll up to India, select that. Then you can choose the layout of the keyboard. Now it's always advisable to stick to United Kingdom or English India. Um, so once you've done that, you can skip adding a secondary keyboard layout for now. Now here is the interesting part. If you connect to a Wi-Fi network during setup, Microsoft is going to force you to log in with a Microsoft ID. However, if you say you do not have internet, it will allow you to continue with an offline ID and walk you through a limited setup, which is ideally what you would want to do. So then you come to the screen where you get to create your user ID. So in our case, we'll just enter test. You can enter your username over here, enter a password, and that's pretty much it. Now it will set up the account for you. And then it will also give you the option to have activity history enabled across devices. So you can choose to have that be as no or yes. You could accept or decline the terms of service if you want to use Cortana, Microsoft's voice assistant, and then choose your privacy settings. Once you've done all of that, then, then Windows is gonna basically set up all of the uh, working environments for you. It will create a user profile and essentially basically get the system ready for use. So we're going to wait a few minutes for that to finish. So that's it. It's actually fairly easy to get this whole setup working for you the way you like it. Hopefully this has been informative and helpful in making you decide whether this is an easy enough thing for you to purchase or not. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.